Oh no. Hey buddy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another ride with me vlog. As you can see today I get to ride Mr. Rolo. And I'm so excited because this is going to be my very first time jumping Rolo. Actually, anyone who I ride is that's not Fisher is going to be my first time jumping because we literally did just start jumping. So all the horses that I ride now I get to experience jumping for the first time. So it's all new and exciting again. I'm very curious to see how he's going to be. He is quite forward and strong in the canter, so I wonder if he will be for jumping. Obviously, we are just trotting into the jumps. But yeah, eventually, once we start cantering into jumps, I know it's just going to be absolutely terrifying on Rolo until I get used to it. Um, but I wonder how he'll be for trotting into the jumps. I think he'll be okay. You do. The last ride on Rolo that I had was quite a challenging one. I just wasn't riding him properly. His canter was kind of scaring me a little bit and I was really stiff and I was holding him back and it just it just wasn't great. Um, so I really want to take what I learned from that lesson and apply it to this one. Just allow him to canter more freely and not restrict him so much and I think both of us will have a much better experience. So now that I'm all done grooming Rolo, it's time to get his bridle on and he is such a good boy, he opens his mouth right away and then we're going to head into our lesson. Come on Mr. Rolo. Come on. This weather ain't it buddy, it ain't it. I feel bad for you, you live outside. You don't care though, you're used to it. Door! You say come in? Okay, it's so windy out there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, today is such a cold and windy day and I am just so ready for summer and outdoor riding. The outdoor arena is so beautiful and it's like double the size of this one so I cannot wait until we get to ride outside again. It's so nice out there. So of course I'm just doing my prep steps, tightening the girth, checking the stirrups and the bridle before I get on and start our lesson. <laughs> of course as always we're going to start off with a couple laps of walk just to get warm and then we will pick up the trot and trot around for a little bit Rolo just having a little bit of a stubborn moment. Sometimes he can be quite stubborn when asking him to initially pick up the trot, but then once he's moving, he's pretty good. So this is the first time that we've actually been given this kind of freedom to just work over any sort of poles that we want. There are tons of different poles set up in the arena right now, so I'm just going to go over them in no particular order, um, just trying to mix it up um, while also managing spacing, doing two point over the straight ones, but the ones on a circle, I will continue to post over them. While I'm doing two points over the poles, I really want to make sure that I'm getting a nice stretch into my heels in preparation for jumping later. I want to make sure that my I have a good position and I'm all warmed up and ready to jump.
Okay, so now I'm just going to cross the diagonal to change direction, switching my crop to my inside hand and sitting for two bumps in the center to switch my diagonal. And we're just going to work over some of our poles going this way now. Okay, so almost always when doing an exercise that is a little more complicated than just going over poles, usually the first couple rounds are practice while we figure it out. Okay, for some reason I just completely skipped the brown pole. I don't know, I guess I forgot. <laughs> I just completely forgot about it. And then what we're supposed to do is cross the diagonal there, change direction, and then do it again going the same way. But I decided to do it reverse for some reason. Okay. Okay, so this time around, I know what to do. So basically, it's like a little serpentine. The white pole, through the cones in the middle, halt, turn left, brown pole, continue left, and then cross the diagonal and go again. Okay, my theory is, or my excuse more so, is that when she's explaining an exercise to us, we're trotting and it's kind of hard to like focus on what she's saying and trot at the same time. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Just by the helmet cam, tell me you can see just how uncomfortable and choppy Rolo's canter is. It is literally the most uncomfortable canter in the world. But this time cantering on him compared to my last lesson on him, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. I'm not holding my hands as high. I'm flowing and letting them flow more with the movement of his canter. And I think we were having a much better canter than we did last time. He seems happier. I'm happier and it just feels like an overall improvement so I am quite happy with that. Something that's really fun about cantering on Rolo is he has absolutely a beautiful walk to canter transitions. I mean, like, I guess it's me. It's always me. <laughs> I want, like, a prize at the end of the year for always going first. So I literally always end up going first, and it's not because I volunteer, trust me. I would love to go second because I do always end up forgetting something, and it would be nice to see someone do it first, but literally no one volunteers, so I'm just like, okay, I guess I'll go first, and then everyone can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> So 
so I was supposed to go over that white pole there, but obviously I forgot. And there missed the brown pole, and that's because I forgot about it. And then I wasn't supposed to go over this brown pole again, but I thought I was. Yeah. Like this? No. Like. Um, so when you're coming off the pole and you're trying to get out of your two foot position, yeah. it's taking a lot of effort to get yourself back, like you're staying forward. Yeah. So instead of. So two point. There. That's all that has to happen. And the two point, this doesn't move. So sit back down and then sit again. This doesn't move. Right? Okay. This part stays on. But when you're two pointing, you're a little bit more this way. So now try two point. Oh, oh I see. So now when she, lift your bones, try two point. So your, her whole thigh has to come off to two point. You see that? Yeah, so yeah. Right? Two point. Her whole thigh is like this. I see. So she's falling forward. It takes her a minute to get back. Yeah, up. yeah. Versus this, when her thigh stays here, she just forward. And then back, super easy. Yeah. Very slow motion. So that's what's happening. Okay. So you're two pointing your whole thighs coming up over the saddle instead of staying here. Okay, got it. You gotta get your leg this way more, back here. And now two point forward. Bend it, bend it not on a back up. No, you moved your whole leg. Oh, what's this down? Okay, so two point forward. There, that's it. And then back down. Okay? Forward and then back down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right now you're going. Right now you're doing like, like yeah. Like, no, not even like that. The whole there's like daylight. I could see daylight between your thigh and the saddle. Yeah. Yeah. Cut. A little bit more stretch into your heel. Like this. Um. Now. now go. There. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, so that was an absolute disaster. I forgot my course obviously and those rollbacks were really tight and I find Rolo really quite difficult to steer in the canter so that added that little extra element of difficulty and as my trainer said, I just wasn't two pointing properly and I was taking too much time to recover out of it so I didn't have enough time to steer him but we'll try it again. Okay. So those last two pulls we were not supposed to do at all, but I could just not get him to stop. I think on maybe some of the, I think maybe there was like one or two that felt a little better. Yeah. You're just, um, when you're cantering, like see, your leg is fine here. When you're cantering, your knee is all the way up yeah. here. It's gripping right there. Yeah. So you need to work on stretching this longer. So you can look I think I'm doing like, I'm like pushing my heel like, not necessarily down, but like forward. Your chair seating. Your yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's why you're losing your stirrup too, because uh -huh. your legs up here instead of stirrup yeah. down into it. That makes sense. Okay, so that time was better. We got all our poles plus some extra. It definitely wasn't great, but it was an improvement, and that's what counts. All right. <laughs> What is that? A vertical? What? You guys, verticals and X's are the exact same. <laughs> I don't know. People always think like verticals are way more advanced than X's. They are literally the same. The X just kind of helps you find the middle of the jump a bit better. Wow, now you volunteer to go first. Whoa. <laughs> That was, that was a 
big jump. Just trot, 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 trot. <laughs> that was better with the leg. Yeah. Okay, that felt really good. Did you get that? Yeah. 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 That, was, that was good. Oh my goodness. So I actually yeah. love jumping on Rolo. He jumps so nice. Just trot, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So I two pointed too early. Uh, you did two point too early, but you popped open early. Oh, uh, stay down there. You went got like it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, but that was better. I felt that I wanted to like pop away, and I was like, no, I'm just gonna stay for a second. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad. Oh, jumping is so fun. So Rolo was an absolute star in our lesson today. I actually loved jumping on him. He was so good and I didn't find it scary at all. When we start cantering to jump with him though, it's going to be a little bit of a different story. Guys, Rolo is so much more fun to jump than Fisher. <laughs> like I actually felt like I was jumping today. But I'm so, so proud of Rolo. He did such a good job. And honestly, I had such a better experience riding him today than I did in my last lesson. And the difference was entirely me. He was perfect both times, but I think I was just much more relaxed and calm and I just handled him a lot better this time. But we had such a good lesson. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. After we cool down for a little bit, I'm just taking Rolo back into a stall. We're all untacked groom feed him and then turn him out i hope to see you guys in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe bye